Hello guys, welcome to this new series. I decided to go back to the basics because I would like to go back to the basics and explain things the way I would like the well the way I will have liked I would like to be explained to me. How the right way to say that? <laughs> no, wait. The way that I would have liked to be explained. Okay, that, that doesn't matter. The thing is, uh, this series is for beginners, for complete beginners. You don't need to know anything about uh, React. What you need to know is about HTML a little bit and that's it. I will say that's it, uh, HTML a little bit and that's it. So today we're going to talk about the virtual DOM, okay? So the virtual DOM is a very interesting concept that React JS introduced. What is the virtual DOM? Uh, basically, whenever you have a website, okay, you're looking at a website, it has a DOM. It, it DOM stands for DOM is document object model, okay? So is the model. It's a document object model, right? So React, when you start, when you start a React app, it creates a virtual DOM. What is a virtual DOM? It's a copy of the actual DOM. But here's the interesting part. Let's say you have a, a div and then inside an uh, a, a paragraph, a P, and inside a span, okay? So if you change that span, React is going to check, is going to first save a copy of the original DOM, of course, then it is going to compare what what did it change what did it change oh okay you changed the span right okay so through a method called reconciliation this is a very important uh word in react through a method uh called reconciliation it checks which node of your document object model you changed and it re-renders only that part of your DOM okay so imagine how that saves time computing and uh, basically speed it, it is super it, it's super fast React is super fast. Uh, uh, there are some people that are against the virtual DOM because they have some other 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 alternatives. Alternatives, sorry. But let's focus on the virtual DOM of React for this course. And I wanted to make it I, I want to make it super, super basic. So you only need HTML and you will be able to create a functional and creative uh, program with React by the end of this series. So this was my explanation of the virtual DOM. It's nothing but a copy, let's say, Let's say React saves a copy of your 
dumb in a variable like virtual dumb cons virtual dumb and then you click on something and that makes a change on a paragraph so then react comes and says okay so what changed it compares virtual dom that it had with your change as we can see in this image right here okay so you changed the paragraph okay let's modify the paragraph and let's reconcile the virtual dom with the actual dom and you are only rendering again the uh, paragraph so that's the advantage of using a virtual DOM because it won't re-render everything I don't know if you know this but if you, you, if you create an application with HTML and you manage all of your changes every time you do a change on any node like a, a, a p a paragraph a, a, a button whatever it re-renders the whole page okay so that's what react comes to offer hey i can offer you re-render just the part that you are interacting with or the part you change and that's the uh, virtual DOM and this video is going to be called why using react the first the first argument for using react I will say is not the virtual DOM let's be let's be honest the real reason for choosing react is the popularity it has everybody everybody is asking for react developers right now okay so yeah the virtual dom is great it's a cool thing it's a cool thing to know how it works and such but let's let's be serious the main reason for using react is for the popularity it has the 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 doors that it will open for you in your career because oh, right now is very it's very on high demand and yeah i wanted to start with this introduction of react and i'm going to be super blunt with you like this why I learn react because it's super popular and everybody wants you if you know react okay yeah it is a cool framework for well some people say it is a library not a framework for javascript but uh let's be serious okay <laughs> so i hope you understood what the virtual dom is and what the normal dom is and why is it faster to use a virtual dom so see you in the next one i think in the next one we're going to talk about jsx a little bit so yeah that's it thank you guys